the magnificent beautiful rcc and my computer's like oh she's so beautiful but she's blind in my eyes right now i can't see that's figuratively what's happening right now as you can see i'm getting 13 fps staring at this as you can see i'm getting 13 fps staring at this what we're gonna do is i think put a giant lake here that is the goal for today's video to put a magnificent lake here now hopefully water doesn't lag out the game as much i don't know if that's gonna happen or not i'm gonna put a lake here and then lastly there's some yachts that i just purchased that we're gonna pick up and the yachts aren't gonna go over there maybe one of them is gonna go over at that place but if you guys remember this is my original this is the original rcc i bought or this is the original storage for rcc i bought this at auction it came with a couple trucks so for now, like all water sports and yachts, if they're not like out on the lot, they're just going to go in storage here. We're going to put them in this building in this building. And then what I'm going to also do is if I can put down an RCC sign, I'm going to put an RCC sign. It might be tough, man. I wish I could just put down an RCC, C, RCC sign right here, but I can't. I think it'll have to go in the back somewhere. But this is going to be mainly storage. So we're going to get jet skis. We're going to get boats today. A lot of them are just going to be put straight into storage. First things first, we have we have a crazy large yacht, two large lots that I purchased that I gotta go pick up. Brand new, straight from the factory. The question is, which truck do I take? I don't really wanna put miles on too many of these trucks by taking all different trucks. So I gotta be careful. To kinda help with the lagging issue a little bit, I'm putting some of our trucks inside these buildings because we have a ton of space in here. And one of these, one of these I may just use for a showroom. We have just so much space because here's this building, which kind of has a little separation that has just a big giant open space. And then obviously this prop shop over here is a little smaller, but then this shop that's connected to the prop shop is the exact same size. So we have, we actually have a ton of room, dude. Maybe, just maybe even the boats could go in here if they can fit. That's the one thing height wise so guys i know we're doing a million things at once but for now i have to put the jeeps inside to help to help with the lag because right now these jeeps i went around and tested different mods and stuff and the way i test them it just had my fps counter up just walk to them and see what they get for fps the forwards honestly aren't the best they're just so it's just so such a detailed mod that has a tough time but i want to get this scene looking good to where when i walk around here it's not as laggy so these two Jeeps right here are going to have to go. I'll leave that one back there just because we can probably have one Jeep out. And I love this Jeep. Or I need to I need to punch myself across the face. Bronco. 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 Okay, it seems to be a tad bit smoother out here. Just a tad bit. But once we buy a boat, put a boat on decoration, my end. It's going to be a little rough. Okay, as far as trucks we're going to take to go pick up the boats, there's nothing like Dodge Kelman's 3500 du Dually. And it sounds amazing. She's used. She's not brand new. So that's why I want to take her because I really don't want to put new miles on the brand new stuff. Don't get me wrong. I really want to go take that F450 Platy over there. She looks beautiful. We may do that. We may still do that. I love that truck. I absolutely love it. We may do that to haul the boat. But for now, we're going to take the Cummins. Dude, check out these sounds on this thing. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh, that sounds awesome. I love it. So the boat we're going to be hauling, or I should say the almost yacht we're going to be hauling, is going to be totally overweight. And I'm only buying two of them just because it's going to be a really tough sell. But again, I did this on the old RCC. If we have somebody that's crazy rich that rolls in, Wants a yacht, wants an F450, or wants a 3500 Dually, and wants someone to pull their yacht with, we have it right there. It'll be a package deal. Who's ready to go boating? <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. So, went to the factory, got one of them. Now, the other is still at the factory. Definitely still at the factory. But, right now, my gosh. We are literally like, we are power hopping with this Cummins almost. You guys see that tire shaking back and forth? I just want to let you guys listen to the sound of this Cummins. This sounds amazing. Oh gosh. Oh, thanks car. Thanks for the push, man. Okay, I'm going to let this car pass, but then, my gosh. This is just cool. I don't know what to say. Dude, in the truck, I can literally feel the truck just sitting back like a boat almost. We're just sitting so low back there. 
I got the airbags pumped up all the way too. We got so much weight back there. So as you guys see, the trailer's red, but on the other boat I ordered, I couldn't really change the boat color. The boat manufacturer only makes one color, but you can change the trailer color, even though the trailer, man, that looks ugly with the boat, because the boat's blue, the trailer's red. But with the other boat I ordered, I ordered a crimson trailer. So that means if we sell the F450 Platinum with this, they'll be matching. The boat, the boat won't be matching, but the boat trailer and then the truck will be matching. Okay, I'm trying to hit the brakes, this sign. Yeah, it's, uh, there's, I don't know what to say. So, I'm going to try to make this turn in here. I should probably use a semi entrance, but I think we can make it through here. Here we go, coming through, baby. So, the question is, is how it's going to put it in here, this building. Will it even fit? Man, I don't know if this is going to work out. I'm going to try backing in there, see if the height works. It, dude, okay, there's a chance that this this yacht may fit in there. I'm trying to think, is there any other door that is bigger than that door? It could? No, nope, not enough space. Okay, we're going to try to make it work in one of those doors. But anyways, here she is. It's a 38-foot yacht. Now, a lot of you guys are going to be asking, well, could you take it on the water, your new lake? We can't. We can't. And a little side secret, shouldn't be telling you this, but you can't even take it off the trailer. But it's going to sell as a package deal, most likely. For now, I think, I hope, we can fit it through that door. Okay, I think it's going to fit. It's going to fit. That antenna, though? Hold on. Okay, the antenna will bend. We'll, we're, we're all good. We're all good. The antenna's going to bend down there, hopefully. Yeah, baby. Holy crap, we're about to bottom out. Oh, shoot. Something's caught. Scraping something. Something is caught. And it may be the antenna up there. My gosh, dude. Or we're just bottomed out. I don't think we're bottomed out. I don't think we're bottomed out. Okay, maybe. We got like an inch to spare, it looks like. But maybe we are. Oh, there we go. We're good. We made it through there. Come on. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Okay, okay, okay. I think we just barely squeezed this yacht in. Okay, keep back her up. There we go. I'm going to call that good. Okay, we got her unhooked, pulled forward, pulled out of her. But the next one we're going to haul, I know this is a new truck and I said I wasn't even going to do this. But we're going to haul with F or F450 or Platinum, baby. Because it matches the trailer. I ordered this specifically for this truck. Let's do it. My kind of goal is, I hate, I hate to think like this, but basically, dude, we're kind of, we're kind of gold diggers in a way, if you think about it. I know that's a horrible term to use, but... If somebody comes in that's like crazy rich, it was just like, you know what? I want a yacht, I want a huge yacht, and I need a truck to pull it. I'll point them right to here. The F450 Platinum, which is gonna be perfect luxury with a yacht. And it's gonna match the trailer. Okay, we're gonna shut the door behind us. Man, dude, I thought that yacht was gonna take up a ton of, ton of space. Holy crap, we have a lot of room left. Dodge, you did us well. Now we're onto this beast. America. Some guy commented, in his, he was like, dude, squad, my OCD's kicking in, dude. You gotta get, you gotta do something with this grass. And he's right. We gotta figure out something. Because right now, you just can't, you can't edit any of the road or any of, like, the ditch. Let's call this a ditch, even though it's not a ditch. I can't edit until up to here with the landscape tool. So, that means part of our driveway is grass. There's a way around it. I just gotta figure out a way around it so I can edit that. I think there's a way. Somebody might have to like edit the map for me or something like that. Look at this beauty. Now she says King Ranch on the back and the interior is King Ranch, but I guess I wasn't, I don't know if I was supposed to tell you guys this, but Buck is making a platinum version. So it's gonna have a platinum badge on the back. It's gonna have the seats and I think the seats are even gonna say platinum on them. And I don't know if anything else is gonna change. I don't think anything else, oh, oh, it's going to say, and see how it says Cane Ranch right there? It's going to say Platinum. But the color, everything like that, it's going to be the exact same. For some reason, I'm just, I'm just in love with this modern style of the Ford Dually. Just the aesthetics of it. Around the, just around the duels, around the, the rear end, it looks great. The back with that badging looks great. The fender, the fender flares that it has, the wide stance, wow. This looks like a nice truck. So we have the other yacht in the back, and man, are we hauling. The F450, the power stroke doesn't sound as good as that Cummins we had, but don't get me wrong, she looks good. 
And it holds the yacht just fine. We are flying. So we're going to swing wide, pull in here. If we can make it through here, my gosh. We'll be fine. There we go. Okay, now I got to figure out where to put the yacht. I kind of almost want to like leave it out somewhere. Especially since it matches the truck. So we probably won't leave it out for long. But here she is. It's got the crimson trailer. Man, truck's a little dirty. Matches the truck. And then we got the giant yacht behind us. The one thing it's missing is mud flaps, baby. Yeah. Everybody knows my addiction to mud flaps. I think mud flaps just make anything look better. Four wheelers, ATVs, golf carts, you name it. Dude, we need giant mud flaps on those bron that Bronco over there. That'd be cool. Just have giant mud flaps hanging down. Like almost like a rally truck. I love mud flaps. I don't know what it is. So now, the next part, we got yachts. I do need to pick up jet skis yet. But the next part is to build out the lake out here. It's going to be kind of a forestry, like timberish lake. So there's going to be a lot of trees around it. Maybe even an island in the middle. But it's not going to it's not gonna be crazy big. Yeah, it's, she's not going to be crazy big. She'll be a ton bigger than this little pond here. But not crazy big. Well, here we go. Build this lake. There she is. Here's the view from the dealership. Now, the sun is shining right on us. The sun's setting right now, so it does look a little different than it will in the day. Did I just see that bird flop to the ground and almost kill itself? I think it did. But, um, man, she's done. I, uh, I, somebody ripped the mouse out of my hands. My gosh, I get addicted to this. I get addicted to building it. And I think there's a lot more things we could add to it, which will come a different day. But, man, I... I kind of really like the tree border. I think it's really needed here to have a tree border. Like, 
I kind of want to put them all the way around. Tell me what your guys' opinion are. Oh, also, if you guys have any crazy ideas on how to do this and how to build it better. Dude, one thing I screwed up on is when I was putting these in, I just didn't put the water low enough. So a little secret, in case you ever want to build this, when you're making this, what you got to do is you have to have your level ground and then you have to slowly come down. Like, let's just say this is a foot. What I should have done is I should have slowly came down like two feet, then place the water. Place the water down and you'll see it just maybe barely above uh, above the surface at that two foot level down, if that makes sense. So not not ground level, but dig two, two feet down, kind of make an area of where you want your lake, and then place your water on top of that. Then from there, what you want to do is you want to use the sculpting tool and dig down like another foot or two foot or however deep you want the lake to be. And that'll be your base. That way it gives you a two foot difference from where the water is all the way up to here. Now, now in doing this, I had to place, check this out. I had to place multiple, you guys probably saw this, multiple water stations here because they're not all going to fit. So that's why you see multiple like pieces of, uh, man, I'll, I'll call it grass, but just like these bush things that are in the water, I guess. Because that means, you know, I place like tons of these across here. So I'm in the gas cane ranch. This is the gasser. Trust me, you can tell. Sometimes you can't tell when you're driving, but when you start her up, you can definitely tell she's a gasser. So we're gonna drive over to the camping spot that I made. I wanna show you guys it. I don't know if it's a camping spot. I don't know what we're gonna have here. Not sure, no idea. But I made this cool little bridge thing, which was kinda, it was a little challenge to be honest, making the, putting this little bridge thing in. So we got this bridge over to this camping spot and you can still get, you can still get like jet skis under here if you wanna ride jet ski out here. <laughs> Dude, pull the yacht across here. And there we go. We're across here. And then this is kind of a neat area. I don't know what I'm going to put here. We could go camp here. But you got a fire here. And it gets laggy kind of if you look towards the dealership. Wait a sec. I wonder. Say I... Check this out. Like, say I really covered up this side. I hate to kind of do this. Because I kind of want to see through it. But say I really filled in these gaps here. I can't really go back here. Once she's done, she is done. But I want to fill in these gaps. Darn it, we're still laggy. Gosh darn it, whatever. It's fine. We're still laggy when we go and look at the dealership. It's like it's still factoring in even though the graphics card can't even see that. I'm just an idiot and don't know good about computers, so I'm sure there's a reason why we're still lagging. Maybe it's a fire. No, definitely not the fire. But here she is. Here's the lake. We got... Oh man, this took forever to build, but uh, I loved it. Loved every second of it. The only mistake I really made, I mean, I probably made a lot of mistakes that I just can't even see right now, but the real big mistake I made is I didn't put the water low enough. That's the only thing, because when you look at it from like ground level, it's uh, it's it seems kind of high, you know? That That's just too high right there. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of RCC. I just always love building things. Hopefully you guys do. If you did enjoy it, smash that like button. And hey, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, guys.